We're going to do a workout today okay. combined with, with compact select stimulation. We take a program which is related to the muscle type work. Uh, we call that resistance. And the interesting thing is in the resistance program that it takes seven seconds of contraction. So you have a lot of time in the seven seconds to finish your movement. Beautiful. You can concentrate. And with the compacts, I will take care of the security uh, of the muscle contraction. And you're going to feel it's going to be very funny to work against those muscles. OK, you ready for it? I'm ready, let's do it. OK, so I'm going to find the program. Switch it on. <clears throat> and if you can see that we go into the muscle building, and when we enter in this category, you see we have the resistance program where we start. We have to switch on the two units, the modules who are on your back. Once they're switched on, we directly go to the contractions and I give you the first contraction and you feel, and you can feel that your shoulders are opening up. Tell me what you feel. I feel my shoulders pulling back, coming to the active position. 150, I bring you up to the 200 intensity. Is that okay? Beautiful. Good. So now we get to the rest. And I want you really to feel that the rest is, you can feel that it's shaking, giving circulation, and it helps all your metabolic waste to get out. So we have the contraction, and between the contractions, this active recovery part. Okay, now you can go, and we go for the movement. Okay, I help you. Three, two, one, and go for it. And push. Perfect. And back. And again. And we get at the end of our seven seconds. Perfect. Now you can feel we are in the rest period. So you can decide. I don't do nothing, but you can also decide in my rest period. I do my series without help compacts. And there we are. Go. Perfect. I bring you up to 250. And that's perfect. We have the seven seconds rest. Do you want to go from the top now? Yeah, let's go from the top. Bring it up the top. <clears throat> okay, ready. And now we start on an intensity of 200. Ready? There we go. Perfect. Eccentric. And back. That's very good. And do it again. And back. Perfect. And we go in rest. And we have one more series from the top. Uh, we bring you up to 300. Now we are in rest. And there we go. And down and up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. To 60, to 70, to 80. And you can feel you can't work against it anymore. Right. Wow, wow. Bravo. Beautiful. Very good, very good. So now we had six cycles. Mm -hmm. So as a basic training, I propose that you do 10 cycles, which is giving you a 70 seconds. That means one minute, 10 workout on a very high intense level. When you start, use a little bit less weight with those who are not experienced like you are, uh, but you can feel that how surprising it is that you can get it uh, up to the top, which you normally do yeah, very absolutely. easily. Huh? Yeah. So can you give us a, a little idea now without any explanation how it feels now? Yeah, absolutely. 95 pounds, not too bad. <coughs> no stand. Perfect. So does it feel different? Absolutely, it feels completely different. It feels significantly lighter, but also with it feeling lighter, I'm able to manipulate those positions in, into a bad position if I wanted to, where the, the complex is able to keep me in a real tight, basically a, a perfect mechanic position. So for you as a coach, I want you to look at the safety part of the exercise. Mm -hmm. You think this is advisable for the participants? Yeah, sir, I think it's advisable mainly in, in the point where if it gets too heavy a lot of times, athletes will manipulate their position into an unsafe okay. position in order just to finish the repetition. Okay. For this, even though I had a hard time while the stim was on pressing up and maintain a good tight position the good, entire time, good. I wasn't able to, main, to manipulate the position into something unsafe. Very good. Means. We go to the next. Let's do it. So all these movements are from shoulder to overhead. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be, is it going to be any different if we do a push press where I get to use my hips now or a push jerk where I get to use a redip? Well, what's interesting, I always work in a muscle chain. And I take those muscles in the muscle chain who are the most important yep. or the most weak. Okay. So in every, everything what you do here, I yep. can also take your abdominals. Sure. But for me, it's more 
the upper back muscles because they control everything yeah. which is opening up. So if we do a push press now, dip yep. drive press. Yeah, exactly the same. We're just going to exactly same, same, same position. Exactly. It's yeah. lats and it's uh, trapezius. So do you want to do, so if that was the, the primary, do you want to do the secondary and the push press and the tertiary and the push yep. jerk? Yeah. Let's do that. Yep. That way he gets has some different shots. Yeah. Sweet. So where the, the secondary would be what then? You, you just test it out now how it is. Then we do the leg stimulation with it and you do it without. Okay. Okay. So Sweet. do it now. Just do the movement. Just feel. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. So ready? Yep. Now I bring you back to the 250. Okay. Okay. okay go. That's the 250. That's your work. That's perfect. That's perfect. And now it's the rest. Do it in the rest as well. It's interesting to see the difference. In the rest period, good. So, okay. And now we get, and now we are in the contraction. Okay, come on, go. Wow, that's good. You feel the stability in your shoulder, how it's pulling? Okay, now you're in rest, and you do two in rest. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now we combine. Three, two, one, start. Perfect. And we keep on the 200 because that's enough for you. Perfect. Okay. 